Welcome back to the video. Let's talk about Tesla stock right now. It's early in the morning. There's a lot of news coming in. And Tesla stock right now, it has dipped a good amount. If you bought it at the top at $2,100, you're probably feeling some pain right now. But I feel like Tesla stock should go up in the long term. So hopefully you do not have anything like expiring super early this week or maybe even next week. And so far before we get started, definitely check out two links in the description. One of them is a free Discord server with almost 10,000 people in it. It's completely free, so definitely join it. It's one of the biggest financial stock option discords on the Discord platform. There's also a Webull sign up link. Sign up for Webull, deposit $100 and get two free stocks. There you go, free money right there. So anyway, Tesla stock is doing extremely well. Look at that one month chart. It has been drilling for a very long time. Like this thing went from like almost $1,800 all the way down to like $1,300. Honestly though, I thought it would have hit like $1,200 before rebounding. But of course, Elon Musk announced a stock split just like a Chad and the stock absolutely went up. At one point, it was up to $2,100. Now it has dipped a little bit because this insane growth is really crazy crazy because around this time there wasn't really that many catalysts to really boost the stock it was simply the news of a stock split and a frenzy of buying keep in mind that tesla stock is doing really well because major hedge funds and also elon musk himself they're not selling their shares and when you have a lot of shares in the market the stock usually doesn't move that much but when you have a bunch of people buying up the stock and never selling it, and there's only a limited quantity of shares on the market, the stock price gets driven up. And not to mention the $20 billion short bet is being absolutely decimated with a lot of short sellers covering their positions by buying back the stock. And what happens when you buy back a stock? Well, the stock goes up. And also if you check out Tesla so far, it's literally like almost $2,000. You know, it's worth more than Shell, BP, also our guy Xbox Mobile combined together. It's one of the biggest companies in the world and it's more than just a car manufacturer in my opinion. It's a software, energy, and also you know, car manufacturer all combined in one, which is really unique compared to other automobile makers out there, which simply just make vehicles, whereas Tesla, they really do work on the software and also the battery lithium ion technology. And so far, Tesla stock split is happening this Friday. So get ready for one of the most wild weeks of trading. And because Tesla shares will be having a five for one split, meaning that $2,000 a share Tesla will be split into five different pieces, each piece is $400. With $400 a share, a lot of retail consumers will be piling in to try to buy up shares, or sometimes when there's a huge initial surge before a stock split, when the split actually happens, a lot of people will dump their shares. So be very careful. It's gonna be a really wild week. If you guys have Tesla options, be very careful. On top of that, big news on the Tesla Gigafactory as the work is being accelerated. I don't know why everyone is talking about this mysterious tent, but of course, if you look at the overall images, you can clearly see everyone is constructing the Gigafactory. It's advancing super fast. Tesla wants the Gigafactory Berlin to be finishing up next year, 2021, maybe around quarter two, quarter three, and afterwards, they will be cranking out Model Ys, Model 3s, and maybe even other model cars to be selling to the European continent. And guess what this means? a lot of sales. So Tesla has been making money for four consecutive quarters. They're honestly like making a ton of cash, like $2 a share. That's pretty phenomenal. But the Gigafactory is up and running and selling cars like what's happening in Shanghai Gigafactory, they will be making even more money. And guess what happens when Tesla makes more money? Stock goes up even more. And on top of that, Elon Musk is simply a really good person and also a pretty decent you know, leadership skills. I feel like Tesla will definitely go to the moon. And it's not about whether or not in Europe, they want the Tesla cars. It's about how fast Tesla could crank out these cars for the European continent. Like literally, if you check out Gigafactory Shanghai, the moment when the Model 3 steps out the factory, there's usually a ton of buyers waiting for it. There's people on the wait list for the Gigafactory Shanghai. The Model 3s are super popular. They're not really that expensive for a fully electric vehicle with all sorts of different software and their infrastructure around the world and also those charging stations is really big. The Tesla brand name is also absolutely phenomenal. And right now, you do have another really big catalyst, and this is the biggest catalyst of all, Musk hinting battery capacity jump ahead of this one event. So pretty much, you know, the lithium ion battery for major cars is the most important aspect. Like if you have a car that has a really crappy battery, 
you're not gonna like it because charging from zero to 100% takes like half an hour to 45 minutes. If you could have a battery that literally could get you from like New York City to maybe like Miami in one single charge, it's gonna be insane. Or maybe one pit stop and that's it. And so far, Musk is hinting this really crazy battery. And so far, I can clearly see they may be able to produce a longer life battery with 50% more energy density in less than four years. That is insane. And so far, I can't really believe when I'm hearing this, but I feel like this could be happening, especially Elon Musk's track record. If you go back like four to five years and see what Musk said, he pretty much already achieved those things here now in 2020. And so far, if you check out, for example, the Model S, the highest range that you could get is around 400 miles. Can you imagine getting something like 600 miles for the Model S? That sounds pretty impressive. And the thing is, even like the performance model, it's at like 348. Imagine getting around like 500, 600 miles per charge. That is pretty insane. And straight up, Elon was like, yeah, we could probably produce this in less than three to four years. That says something. And I feel like Musk really wants people to know that they're more than just a car manufacturer, but they're also a lithium ion battery researcher. So you have a lot of competition right now. You do have like Tesla, you know, they're worrying about the competition, the Porsche Taycan, Nissan, Mercedes, BMW, and even like the other supercars out there are trying to crank out their own version of electric vehicles. But keep in mind, the reason why Tesla is so strong, and even when those cars are being announced right now and the shares aren't dropping for Tesla, because the infrastructure is so advanced for Tesla. There's charging stations for Tesla everywhere in the country. Tesla even just straight up said, yeah, we can make a really incredible battery that pretty much our competitors will not have probably for the next several, several years. And then you have the Model 3, the Model S, the Model X, and Tesla vehicles have this incredible autopilot. And they can literally give you software updates just simply by Wi-Fi alone. And the car just seems really nice, really early and millennial-ish. And so far, they have a lot of different features in it. And they're more of a software company than anything else. Not to mention, the vehicles look absolutely stunning. And last but not least is the Tesla Semi. Big news on a Tesla Semi as a huge research firm predicts about 54,000 electric trucks by 2025. The logistics service team is absolutely huge these days, especially e-commerce absolutely blowing off the charts. UPS, FedEx are reporting record amounts of sales and also revenue because a ton of people are ordering things from online. And these things have to travel from point A to point B, and sometimes in extremely long distances. And since we're becoming more of a global economy, shipments from you know coming into the United States and going out the United States is becoming bigger than ever. And guess what we need more? A lot of semi-trucks, and this is no lie. And with like 54,000 electric trucks by 2025, this is big, but guess what? Where do you think the majority of these logistics services are gonna be ordering their trucks from? Most likely Tesla. Because Tesla Semi is by far one of the most advanced in the world with autopilot and they also have insane zero to 60 speeds. And so far the pricing isn't even that obnoxious. 500 mile range for $180,000, 300 mile range for $150,000. So even though it is kind of pricey, like almost $200,000 for a vehicle, keep in mind that Nikola Motors is charging like $250,000 for a truck, maybe even $235,000 for a truck. And you also have other companies not even making any trucks at all. So when you have a big company like Tesla that has years and years of experience, you're most likely gonna be ordering electric semi trucks from Tesla, especially the pricing is extremely competitive compared to other guys out there. You can save a lot of money on fuel. So yes, this could be a really big money maker and Musk knows that launching the Tesla semi truck is gonna make him a ton of money. And so far I can clearly see so far you got like this beautiful Tesla semi truck, like the cargo could be hauled in. They have a smaller version as well if you don't wanna to have too much cargo. But so far, this is a lot of money saved in the diesel fuel cost. And with so many analysts coming out with crazy numbers about the amount of electric vehicles and trucks by you know 2025 or 2030, Tesla semis will most likely be the best selling electric semi truck in the world, honestly, because not a lot of companies are making electric trucks and the companies that are making electric trucks, they don't have the factory to produce it. And Tesla even said that they will be getting the Tesla semis out in mass production in 2021. That is next year. And a lot of logistics services teams, even Walmart and DHL, are ordering small batches of Tesla semis to check them out. And even some companies sending in mass orders. That's about it. Thanks for watching and comment below.